This are. Hey, welcome back to this, the second episode of Geek Talks. For those new to this, Geek Talks is a part of the Bizarre Network, which you can find at www.bizarre.com or on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash Bizarre Network. I am your host, Mark Selby, and today I have a very special guest, Mother Creepypasta. Hi, everyone. In this segment, I will be talking about one one very focused topic. This episode is dedicated to Game of Thrones Season 6. So, from here on, the episode will be very spoiler heavy. So, beware. Sorry, not sorry. We have several topics today, so let's get right into it. Hold the door. Sorry. I'm sure you're sick of that. But before we go any further, I'd like to talk to you about Audible.com before we start the show, okay? Alright. Don't need that. Fine. You really sure? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to tell you about Audible. Uh, so let me tell you about Audible.com. Audible is a beautiful website which hosts thousands and thousands of audiobooks for your listening pleasure. If you're always on the go like me, you don't have time to read. Or maybe it's too hard on your eyes. Either way, with Audible, you can listen to someone else read the book to you while you go about your daily routine. That's right. Amazing. I know. What's better is by going to audibletrial.com slash bizarp, you can get a free audiobook on us. I'm currently hearing C.S. Lewis's The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. But if you have a moment of time, you can search through their amazing library for the right book for you. Once again, that's audibletrial.com slash bizarp. There'll be a link in the description below. Uh, so yeah, jumping right into it. That was a good uh, hold the door reference, Mother Creek Boston, because that's the first topic I have to talk about. So I'm not. By now, everyone knows that Hodor got savagely killed. Um, But we should probably. Like, people are already taking his death too far with the jokes. There's just so many jokes and it doesn't end. But you'd think it would. It would taper off at some point. No. No. Basically, someone made a doorstop, a doorstop of Hodor, hole in the door, and uh, he started a Kickstarter for it. And his name is Tony Wang. He's made several 3D molds of Hodor, forever in his last pose, and has started making a Kickstarter with the inten- intention of making these for real. Uh, oh, they're not real. Not yet. No, they, they have they have like 3D molds of it, but they don't really have anything concrete uh they have to get a licensing agreement with hbo before they can officially start making them but uh for those people who do support the kickstarter and if the licensing agreement fails your money will be completely returned back to you will be completely refunded so they say so well that's part of like the that's just kickstarter you have the option of doing like the Oh, if we don't make it, you get your money back, or there's, like, two types you can set up. Anyway, um, but, yeah, they're, they're kind of funny looking. They look like Hodor in his last moment, and as horrible and as played out as that joke is, I kind of want one. So small, but Hodor is, like, a giant. Or half giant. <laughs> He's pretty big. <laughs> But uh, a link to the article showing the the Hodor doorstop and uh, a link to the Kickstarter will be in the description below so you can check that out. But uh, uh, should your humor be so dark and twisted, kind of want to know what what would you uh, use the, which door in your house would you use the door holder for? I mean, my... Humor is dark and twisted, and you know I ordered one for each door in my house. Uh, anyway. I would get it and put it in our upstairs neighbor's door. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the door. Hold the door. It's been like, what the hell is this? I don't watch Game of Thrones. Yeah, how the hell did they do? Uh, next up, we're going to talk a little bit, uh, instead of death, we're going to talk rebirth. And that's kind of... Physical and not so physical. Uh, 
we're going to talk about my favorite character returning from what everyone thought was surely his demise two seasons yeah, ago. Yeah, we called it. We knew it. We wouldn't give up. The Hound is back. Sandor Clegane is back. The Hound. Uh, he survived the fight with Brienne, and the ever unkillable Hound has recovered and is trying to live a peaceful life building homesteads. Uh, some former septum in Westeros recognized him, thought he was dead, picked him up, turned out he wasn't dead, and nursed him back to health. Uh, so he's trying to, like, he's basically settled down with this group of lost souls, and they're all wishing to basically build this big homestead where they might make the rest of their life. And that is, and really just bear with me for a minute, but something really cool happens and not cool happens. Basically, the Brotherhood Without Banners, who we haven't seen since, like, season three, when the Hound encountered them with Arya and uh, dude for the, the main guy that was a priest of Red rose that guy back to life, and then they fought him and the Hound fought. Well, see, when I saw them in the last episode, I thought it was uh, the Greyjoy's uncle... Dude. Oh, yeah. What he looked like. Kind of looks like Rob Dyke. A little bit, yeah. Um, basically, they show up. They threaten him. Uh, the Hound goes off to chop some wood so that they can have logs to build their shit and notices suddenly everything got quiet. Goes back and everyone's dead. And so his peaceful life shattered. He picks up his trusty axe and stalks off. So we're assuming he's probably going to go kill him. I'm assuming he's going to go kill him. Now he's going to die. He's not going to die Now yet. he's going to die. He's not going to die Because it's yet. hilarious that way. No, he's not going to die yet. Anyway, what I'm really excited about <laughs> because of this, because of um, an episode ago, we got Cold Hands, who was the White Walker who helped brand the books. Um, they have kind of melded him in with... Or the Stark family's, like, uncle and combine them into one character. Apparently, he, he's uh, Uncle Cold Benji. Hands. Yeah, Uncle Benji okay. is Cold Hands. And uh, people, including me, think we might be getting the reveal of Lady Stoneheart. Um, real quick, for those of you who don't know who Lady Stoneheart is, um, I'm going to place a link below so you can read all about her. I don't want to spoil her. All I will say is she's someone we know. She leads the Brotherhood without banners now. And she is not someone you want on your bad side. Yeah, she is, she's big big news. And uh, link in the description below, you can check her out. You might be, if you don't, if you haven't read Game of Thrones, you will want to check it out. Check it out. What, 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 What's it all about? <laughs> I'm just happy with the hound back, though. Um, I'm just happy I was right. <laughs> right? How predictable. Though a lot of people think it'll end with the hound returning to King's Landing and fighting the mountain in what is being referred to as the Clegane Bowl, which is fucking hilarious. Um, for those who don't know about that, basically, um, it sounds like Cersei is going to basically challenge the High Sparrow or somebody in that fashion to a battle to the death and name the mountain as her champion. And there people believe that the hounds going to show back up at King's landing and he's going to fight for the high sparrow, or whoever and it'll be the hound versus the mountain round two. Um, it's really funny and awesome. If you just look into it, I, I have a link below, which also explains that, um, so if the Clegane Bowl does happen, who do you think will win? Or will they kill one another? Let us know in the comments below. But before you do, there's more. Next up, we're going to talk about Arya. Um, Arya in the last episode got fucked up. Uh, she, you saw it, I hope. The, the wave stabbing Arya and the god a whole fuck ton of times. Are you bleeding walking the streets of Bravos? It's fucking crazy. Um, of course, she's not dead yet. Just like we never saw the Hound die, we have yet to see Arya die. So I'm not sure what will happen to her. 
Um, she's apparently, she's going to survive the, the episode eight preview, like the, the, the little preview, the text preview and the on demand shows up and tells you a little bit about it. And it sounds like Arya is doing another test. You know what I was thinking about at work today? Remember when Arya was still in King's Landing and Ned Stark was still alive and she had a sword fight guy that taught her? Mm-hmm. Remember what he told her about the only true god is the god of death and all you have to say to him is not today? Mm-hmm. Remember that? That's probably what's going to happen. That's kind of awesome, though. Um, I don't know what's going to happen to her. Uh, some people are saying that like Lady Crane, who she saved in that episode, Mm-hmm. We'll come. We'll find her and save her, as you know, because she saved her. Now that Lady Crane's turn to save her. Um, however, Nerdist, as awesome as they are, have compiled three risky possibilities of what could happen. Um, instead of going into crazy detail, the link to the video is is below in the description, and it's awesome and thought provoking. So check it out. Really, only have one more thing, and that was an awesome episode of Bloodworks. So Anthrax bassist Scott Ian, who um, he headlines the web show Bloodworks, uh, got to take us behind the scenes of Game of Thrones. And while he was back there, he got to look at some of the awesome weapons and how they're made. And they have a fuck ton. And uh, he got to check out the Iron Throne, of course. Uh, He also got to talk extensively with Barry Gower. Gower? Uh, who is the prosthetics makeup designer. Uh, he goes into the hound's burn mark and how that, that prosthetics made and the giant's hands and uh, the children. In the description below is a link to the video. So check it out. It's super interesting. I can't really give much away. There's not much to give away. It's just really kind of cool. So yeah. Fun and do you have any last words before I read this final segment? You're not going to talk about the little lady of the north? Yeah. Uh, She's my inner child. <laughs> uh, what's her name? Uh, Le- Liana Mermont? The the clan of the cave bear? Not, no, not clan of the cave bear, but... Um, yeah, she's pretty badass. She is, she is queen of sass. The ten-year-old queen of sass. That's more than sass. Yeah. It was, it, that was, that was an awesome scene. You're going to get 62 men. 62? 62. <laughs> I assure you that we might be a small clan, but each one of my fighters fights like 10. Like, well, that's pretty badass. So, yeah. That's still only 620 men. That's still a huge difference. Muffins! Uh, all right. Mother Creep Pasta is leaving us. She's making me muffins. So we're making us muffins. So, now, my final questions for you are, what do you think about all this? Are you offended by the Hodor door holder? What do you think about the Hound and Lady Stoneheart? How do you feel about Arya being stabbed just a god-awful amount of times? Let us know in the comments below. Once again, this has been Geek Talk, a production of the Bizarre Network. You can find us at www.bizarp.com or on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash Bizarp Network. My name is Mark Selby, signing off. Until next time, geek on, my friends.